have a look on that liquids tend to rise or fall in the capillary because of remember the process of capillary action capillary action is an application of surface tension surface tension is basically the force acting on the unit length of the surface of a liquid and that is basically the thing due to which liquid always want to occupy minimum surface area that's why the water droplet is spherical in nature and similarly if i talk about the capillary action that is also due to surface tension it's given here in option 4 that's why the correct option for this question is option 4 i hope this question is also clear to you now after this it's a turn for question number 42 now student turn is there for the question number 42 compressibility factor z is equal to compressibility factor that is applicable to the real gases and we know that for ideal gases pv is equal to nrt but for real gases it is not so there is a term compressibility factor is included here and as per that z that compressibility factor is equal to the ratio of pv to nrt so this would be the value where this value is given yes it's given in option one that becomes the correct answer for my question now the turn is there for question number 43 a balloon is filled with 2 liter air at 25 degrees celsius what will be the volume of balloon at 30 degrees celsius as per the question assume constant pressure in this particular question we need to apply gaseous laws specifically charles law what's that law if pressure is constant then definitely i'm just writing here as per the charles law if pressure is constant then the volume of a fixed amount of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature and the condition is at constant p and this is the statement of charles law now on the basis of this i'm just going to solve this question balloon is filled with two liter air it means Initial volume V1 is 2 liter and what's the temperature there? The T1 that we need to take here. T1 should be taken in the Kelvin but here it is 25 degree Celsius so it becomes 25 plus 273 that's 298 Kelvin. You have V1, you have T1 also. What you need to find out? V2 value. What would be the volume of that balloon? when the temperature becomes t2 and that t2 is equal to let's check 30 degrees celsius it means it becomes 30 plus 273 303 kelvin all the values you have you need to find out v2 let's find out v1 by t1 should be equal to v2 by t2 as per charles law and now I'm just going to apply this V1 is 2 divided by T1 that is 298 should be equal to V2 by 303 and if you solve this V2 is equal to approximately 2.03 liter this would be the final volume and where this is given need to check the given options it's given here in option 2 just choose this as the correct answer now the turn is there for the next question 